Let's animate a rhino walk together. Reference in the rig and move the solver over. Oh no, bye rhino. Don't forget to make a kinematic ground. Right now he's in local space and will fall over if he's not supported, as you can see here. What I'm going to do is use the chest as a pin. When you create a pin, it's separate from the rig. I'm going to constrain the pin back to the rig so it moves with it. Let's see what a pin does by dropping our rhino from a height. With the pin values at zero, he falls. If we give a value to the translate strength, it pins it. Add some values to the rotate stiffness. Now the pin controls the rotation. I can change the group pose strength to get more droop in the rhino. If we make translate zero, our rhino will no longer be held and will fall down to the ground, but it's still being controlled by the rotation of where the pin is. This will force the rhino to stay upright. Okay, let's start animating the front legs. I'm going to start with a simple forward and back movement. Nothing complicated. Hey, he's going the wrong way. This is because the passing pose has no height difference. I'm going to add some up and down to the shoulder movement to get the feet lifting up from the ground. Now he's going forwards. I do the same for the other side. Forward, back, forward, repeat on the back legs. You can animate as much as you like. I'm just limiting it to the legs and the head for now. I'm going to refine the shoulders a bit over here. He's a happy rhino. Bounce his head. Boing, boing, boing. Looking cool. Time to bake to the rig. and add some lights for the final. Look at them go. Thanks for watching. Tune in for more little tutorials as we go.